Hey, welcome everybody. This is uh, Coffee Chug coming at you live. It is Thursday night at about uh, 9.30 and um, I've got some exciting news. The um, incubator has a live and active little quail and um, it's doing pretty well. Got a, little, a couple of videos and stuff I'll show you on the progress of this thing, give you just a little feedback on my end. Um, I'll be honest, I thought we had a kind of dead batch uh, the last couple of days, starting on uh, late Monday night, Tuesday morning, we had three eggs that started to pip and create a little air hole, and then there wasn't much action at all from that point on. Yesterday, which was uh, Wednesday the 17th, I really thought the one egg had a shot, a lot of chirping, a lot of noise, a lot of movement, and I thought for sure it was going to hatch, and all day, um, nothing developed. And this morning, I kind of helped out. I know they say you're not supposed to. Kind of helped peel back the shell because it was still chirping. And so I still had hope. And it was shaking and moving like crazy in the morning. Still going strong in the afternoon. Um, but when I got home from basketball around 5, 5.30, the um, bird was no longer alive. And so... I did take a picture of it because I was interested. I took out its shell, which um, I was just curious, maybe hoping there was still a chance that there was a heartbeat that I could save. But uh, that quail was not successful at all. So after the kids went to bed, I decided I was going to clean out the incubator uh, because I, I thought that was it. And um, as I was cleaning out the other eggs, there was a faint chirp. And so I started to listen, and there was an egg that was making noise. That was not making noise at all previously the last three days. And so there was a little pip again, and uh, I kind of helped open up a little bit. And I'm wondering if the humidity in my incubator isn't quite humid enough because eggs feel really dry and thick. And um, about an hour and a half later, we've got one active moving, making lots of noise. I think we're looking for it tomorrow. So we need to get him in with uh, his friends here soon. Because Mr. Klett has a third of the eggs, and he's had quite some success. I think the last I connected, there were six or seven in his batch. So we are off to a good start. But you don't want to look at any more of me, because uh, one, there's not much there, just a, an ugly mug. So let me go ahead and show you some video of the process of this little guy. And uh, we need to get him, get him a name. And hopefully he makes it through the night and I uh, get him into school. So, it's awesome. It's a great experience. I know. Um, I feel proud. I do. And you should feel proud too. You guys have been a lot of help. And just think, in the spring, it's all you. So here we go. Here's some footage from uh, tonight. 